Only alternative is the Biafra government, which the people are loyal to. We want to also use this opportunity to prove to the world that Nigeria has failed to solve its political and economic crisis that has befallen the country and the country has become a failed nation. We want to prove to the international community that the Biafra are well organized and they are ready to provide solutions to the problem that Nigeria could not solve, especially to the Biafra people, so that those who we are going to leave behind, like the Afonjas, who claim to be educated, but the Biafra person was the first professor in their land, so that they will learn from the doggedness and the bravery of the Biafra people. I want you to understand that the killing of Biafrans during the war, which they are using as, as a tactics, as a tool to kill the spirit and the morale of Biafrans, we have defeated that particular tactics, which they will always remind you. Were you born during the war? Did you not see how children died? Oh, there was hunger. Do you have food? All those nonsense they have used to instill fear on our people, we have actually defeated that fear. Today, Biafra are standing gallantly facing these monsters and terrorists that call themselves state. My fellow Biafrans, we have prepared you for the past three years uh, to what is to come from tomorrow. The reason we embarked on countless and countless civil disobedience of sit at home and the terrorist state and their enablers in Biafra land were busy struggling how to suppress the civil disobedience of sit at home because they know where we are going. Today, what we have prepared you for, it is time to write exam. This particular lockdown is not applicable to businesses, is not applicable to traders, is not applicable to hospitals, is not applicable to schools, it is only applicable to the secretariat, police stations, and barracks. We are starting from there. If you know you work there, from tomorrow, stay in your house. Because you will be used as a propaganda machine when they have killed you in order to blame Simon Epa. Nobody's going to listen to you. We are at war officially with Nigeria. So if you die, you become a victim of the war. The war as, as of today is not conventional war. And I would like to remind you, I didn't say it. The chief of defense staff, Musa, have on several occasions confirmed that they are at war with Biafra. In the first, first, he mentioned that he is fighting guerrilla warfare. Secondly, he mentioned that we are fighting jungle warfare. And then thirdly, he confirmed that they are now fighting asymmetric warfare. I did not say all these things. He said it. So what I'm trying to tell you now is that no matter how they try to cover this asymmetric warfare, which was the last thing he mentioned, that particular asymmetric warfare is happening in Biafra land. Do not fall a victim of stray bullet. When the Biafra Defense Forces, the Biafra Liberation Army, the Biafra Resistance Fighters will be engaging these terrorists, our plan is to push them out of Biafra land. It does not matter how many years it is going to take. Even one of the Afonja actually explain what we are not going to call it, but they know exactly the, the kind of war that we have, you know, we are facing within the Nigeria, within the Nigeria terrorist state. They will be the one to be mentioning it. They will be the one to be saying it. All we have to do is to make sure our women and children are defended. They have come with all manner of propaganda telling you, oh, you are bringing the security to Biafra land. He is the one causing the problem. He is the one bringing the military and all that. All those lies, you know, does not last long. And I have asked them, when they were killing people, imagine I'm the Kano's house, I was not a IPOB member. I was not even a Biafra agitator. I was not even part of the Biafra. I joined in 2019. Before I joined, thousands of Biafra has been killed. Thousands of Biafra has been uh, uh, adopt, adopted by the Nigeria terrorist state. Before I joined Biafra struggle, thousands of Biafra have died in detention. It was not Simon Ekman. And what I'm trying to do today is to make sure 
that the atrocities committed against Biafra people before I even joined the Biafra struggle is revenged. Number one, we must revenge the killings of Biafrans in the 60s. Today, nobody has been tried in any court internationally as for war crime. For the crime of genocide, which is the highest crime that have committed after the Holocaust, nobody has been tried in Nigeria. We will take that law into our hand by defending our land today. In the 21st century, the, 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 the mark of that, the wound of that killings of Biafra is very, very, very glaring on us today. And what we have to do is to teach lesson to those who have killed us and still bragging after 50 years. After 50 years, they have put a system that have disenfranchised every Biafran, that have marginalized us, that have put poverty as the only inheritance as a Biafran under Nigeria. They enacted a law that made sure that every resources that come from Biafran land is being controlled in Abuja by the Fulanese. Why the natural resources like gold in the north is being controlled by them? How can you live in a country such as this, where there are two laws, where they have restructured the country, and in the north they are practicing Sharia law, controlling their own natural resources, the gold, and the gold that they found in Zanfara, belong to Zanfara state. Why the natural resources in Biafra land belong to the federal government? How do you reconcile that? My fellow Biafrans, this is not the first time they are giving loan or loaning money from outside the country and the Biafra land was excluded. During the time of DK Kuremano that is serving jail term in London today, they collected loan from China and not Southeast was excluded from that loan. Today, they have also excluded the Southeast and South South part of Biafra in the student loan, which is even a very good development because before, during the time they shared the loan from China, they gave at least one small percent to the South South then because then it was not clear whether these people have been deceived or not. My fellow Biafrans, during the time of Obasanjo, when the cis geopolitical zone was created, in order to divide the Biafra people, divide us into pieces, so that they will tell you that the five eastern states is the Biafra they are fighting for. My brothers and sisters, today we have defeated them by defining our map, and that map is undisputed. The only time, and the only time, and the only time this particular map of 40 states will be disputed is when we are at the United Nations. When the United Nations will come, if they like, and we are going to again challenge any alteration of this map. To the highest level so everyone today who is very proudly finding himself or herself in the map of 40 state of biafra must understand that you are going to be protected at all costs we are not going to cede not even one quarter or not even one plot of that map to anywhere you are going to be protected by the biafra government and will make sure that we go, everything we do today is using through democracy, not by dictatorship. We have conducted self-referendum, which is still ongoing, and the people scattered all over these 40 states have spoken today, over 50 million of them. 50 good million. How many were you in the general Nigeria general election? Because the people are tired and they are no longer interested in Nigeria. Only 25 million. Today, we have doubled that number. And this has further shown that not only that these people disenfranchise us, there is no data. It was on purpose. They made sure that there is no data so that they will continue to tell lies of, about your population. Biafra, we are going to have one of the world-class database systems, just like Finland. My brothers and sisters and my fellow citizens of Biafra, I promise you that I am bringing Finland to Biafra. And what does that mean? What it means is that I am bringing a system of government where your right will be protected. I am bringing a system of government where if you do not have money, the government will care for you. 
I am bringing a system of government where you can stay in your home and cast your vote. I am bringing a system of government where you are going to have a world-class and world-standard national insurance scheme where you can go to hospital and without dropping any deposit, the hospital will treat you. You are going to be examined with the world-class, state-of-the-art machines and facilities. That is the kind of system I'm bringing. I am bringing Finland to Nigeria, to Biafra, and after that, every other thing about security will be a bygone. I am bringing Finland to Biafra, where the political parties will have their elections and the people will make their choice without anybody carrying a gun to kill each other. I am bringing a system where you can never forge our national identity card nor the Biafra passport. I am bringing a system of government where you are going to travel as a Biafran and whenever you present your ID card or passport, the or, or immigration authority will already know that Biafra is built on the marble and on stone that nobody can forge and present their identity card on or the international passport. I am building, a, I am bringing Finland to Biafra. It is going to be a system where when you answer yes, your yes is yes. Not when they, you answer yes, you somebody will go and start investigating it, whether it was supposed to be no. I am bringing a sense system, the what is going to be the beginning of the civilization in Africa. That is exactly what I'm bringing to the Biafra people. And I know they understand this. I have promised them several times, I am bringing Finland to Biafra. Today, everything the Biafra Republic government in Asia has done is exactly the system of Finland. We have adopted the international, uh, uh, the national ID card, which is going to have a very highly secured e-ID card that has the same feature with the European Union ID card. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that the security features of our national ID card as a government in exile and the de facto government, who is yet to gain independence? The security feature is the same standard with the European Union. That's where we are starting. Very expensive, but it is worth doing. It is mean, what this means is that the database system of Biafra is going to be as, as strong as the Schengen system. What it means is that the system I am bringing to Biafra is where we will go into agreement and negotiation with other world powers and other countries that if you must do business with us, you are going to respect our citizen, respect their national, international uh, traveling document, where we are going to go into agreement to understand that we need each other and actually they need us more than we need them. So if as a Biafran, you are going to travel to many countries visa free. I am promising Biafra people that by the special grace of God, I am bringing a system of government where you are going to be more valued than all these countries that are issuing visa or a citizenship on investment, where you can travel over 120 something countries where you have their international passport. Biafra is going to be more and better than them. We have something they never had. But today they are respected because of the system they have built, because they have a very secure system where the citizens of those countries are respected all over the world. My fellow Biafrans, believe me, you will have one day visa free to America. You will be begged to travel to America and you will have no reason to travel to America, except when you want to go on holidays. And many of you will not even go to holidays because you are going to have that thing they have in America in Biafra land. My fellow Biafrans, I want to inform you that today we have a very high level meeting with developers that have already they are already interested in building more than Dubai in Biafra land. I am just overwhelmed and too happy this evening that such is happening. That is the dream I have for the Biafra people. A lot of investors are already coming 
knocking at our door when are we coming when are we coming is it after december where should we start the investment they are running those investors that are running away from nigeria they are knocking at our door and i promise them that from the december 2nd we are going to have a very long way because i know nigeria is not going to give up very easily but one thing i promise them is that it doesn't matter how long it take if it take us 10 years to fight nigeria after december 2nd we are ready if it take us 20 years to fight nigeria after december 2nd we are ready i have listened to so many people who were talking rubbish on social media saying oh does it mean that all the fact they are fighting all this why it is not a fight then these are idiots these are idiots that knows nothing about freedom fighting they have not brought anything to the freedom to the uh, struggle they have never contributed anything many of them do not even believe but today they are advisors they are the one telling you oh uh, why is it that you are starting the fight now so the fight that is happening what about it yes you don't tell us how to fight if you think you have advice to give you come into the system the door is open for you come and tell us what you got but we have a template that must not be uttered that template is that we will continue to delegitimize Nigeria until December. That template is that all the terrorist forces in, that is representing Nigeria in Biafra land will continue to kiss the dust. Till even if it is one person that is remaining, if that one person doesn't leave, we will continue to follow that one person until it kiss the dust, and then the Biafra government will take charge completely. My fellow Biafrans, our template is very, very clear. We have fought war, very, very brutal war that supervised the death of millions of Biafrans. Now we have learned our lesson and we also study Nigeria, how to dismantle this Nigeria, evil Nigeria. And that's exactly the pattern we are applying in this fight. And believe me, Nigeria will never ever survive this after 2nd of December. Nobody will listen to what we have done and see what we have done so far and ignored over 50 million uh, uh the latest update now be said the jewish uh jewish rabbis from israel uh has written to the federal government of the nig of Ndobro government to make sure that maze namdekano is released with immediate effect <laughs> uh, let's go down to that information make you see what in the happen we appeal you release our son and brother nam the colonel for peace to reign jewish priest right tinubu in a recent statement jewish priest from the unique forum of orthodox judaism has urged president bola tinubu to release mazen nam the colonel the leader of the indigenous people of biafra as reported by Daily Post, the call was made through an open letter to the president. The group believes that Kano's release could help bring peace and stability in Nigeria, particularly in the southeast region, which has seen rising tensions due to his ongoing detention. Rash Nashisotov, Ihe Meduya, the leader of the group, led the members of the palace of Kano's late father in Isiama Afaruku during the visit. Mado Madumewuya stated that Kano has been held unjustly. He added that the president should consider the growing number of appeals to release the IPOV leader. The letter, which was also signed by the forum's chairman, Elder Okamolata Okamolata Ebu argued that Kano had done nothing wrong and was simply voicing for the well-being of his people. The group claimed that his detention was contributing to Nigeria's problem, not solving them. They further argued that Kano's imprisonment was angering God, leading to the challenges of the country is currently facing. The priest stated that Kano's release would not only benefit his family but also the country as a whole. We humbly appeal to President Bola Ahmed Tinubu and his cabinet to release, to see reasons to release our son and brother Nam the Kano to go and worship the, worship the creator of heaven and earth for peace to reign in the great nation. The letter read, 
Uh, this one is coming from rabbi, uh, um, from Jewish rabbis who have written to the president uh, that part of the things that is currently happening in Nigeria now is as a result of uh, Maze Nandekano's continuous incarceration. And that is why a lot of things are befalling Nigeria recently. And um, in the southeast, uh, they cry that if Kano should be released, uh, that uh, the insecurity that is going on in the southeast will go down. Meanwhile, uh, something happened in Zamfara State where an inspector of police on an interview was able to open up that the people who are now behind this issue of banditry this issue of insecurity are not just common men, but are prominent men in the society. He, he opened up uh, uh, as he opened up on how they arrested a, a, a former house uh, of um, former uh, member of House of Representatives, arrested the local government chairman, and other people who were arrested in connection to insecurity and banditry. You can see that uh, it is no more, it's no more uh, uh, and the kind of stuff that people are now turning to become a business. So I think uh, the best thing the Nigerian government will do is to make sure that Maze and the Kano is released. And I believe that uh, by that way, People will be able to know those who are hiding behind this umbrella to be committing atrocities in this nation. To be committing atrocities in, in the southeastern part of Nigeria. But the issue is, the government that you are talking to, are they paying attention? Uh, I don't know uh, if they like the insecurity that is currently going on in this nation or whether they are enjoying it. Uh, because the way they are doing things, uh, you, it's, it tells on their face, maybe somehow they are enjoying the insecurity that is going on in this nation. Maybe because uh, some of them are benefiting from it indirectly. I will keep saying it, the allocation that is being allocated to the procurement of ammunition in this nation since the, the inception of insecurity matters can build this nation times two. So, of course, you know that uh, 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 that that money is entering inside some people's pockets. And some people are eating from there. Now, the issue is, tell me how these things are going to work. As it be for Lagos State, a lot of Lagos State citizens have been rendered useless by the Le Lagos State government. They have been... Uh, they have been rendered homeless uh, by this uh, present government. Oh, say, Taylor. Oh, say, Taylor. Meanwhile, um, the, the present government now are doing whatever they feel like they want to do. Um, nobody is paying attention. Nobody wants to help the citizens. Nobody wants to do anything that will better the nation. Uh, what they know is everybody share the money. And as the money is being shared, uh, everybody is carrying their own to their own community and to their own personal account. <laughs> also, tell me why it don't share for Anambra State within the here capu capu of a clash uh, between the members of the indigenous people of Biafra and the members of the Nigerian security forces According to the information, the Joint Tax Force of the Nigerian Forces uh, marched in uh, to a close, uh, close camp of the members of the indigenous people of Biafra and their uh, 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 force network, Eastern Security Network. And there was a lot of clash there. According to the information where they dropped from my table, they say that about four people lost their life and that particular clash but we are yet to find out uh, the people who lost their life whether they are members of the energy the forces or members of the ipob or they are from the boot side upon that information coming out i go to let you know one 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 
Remember, uh, the government has declared in some states the 21st of uh, September, uh, which is Monday, to be a public holiday. Uh, there will be no movement, no vehicular movement, uh, nothing like that. Uh, everybody is meant to to stay at home uh, in order for for it to be. Uh, I mean, sorry, pardon me. Twenty uh, first is today, Saturday. Uh, that in some states, uh, local government elections are ongoing, and in some other states, they are having uh, they are having governor their state governorship election and other places but the issue is uh, they have given autonomy uh, to local government whereby now they are electing go local government uh, chairman but that does not end the case the case is these people that have been elected giving them autonomy is this autonomy is it feasible or is it uh, uh, what is it called you know there is this money they will give you they call it audio money is it audio promise or is it feasible that the governor does not does not have control over the local government uh, money over the local government funds is it achievable is it something that is feasible or just get better <laughs> Edon Shallow, uh, another information will drop for my table now and the final information what i go drop for you before i go to come out uh be say uh, one man like that uh, for one village don't go impregnate the house help and the house help way impregnate and uh, nobody just has help now nah, in wife in wife last born <laughs> uh, how I go take put up okay now nah, in wife in wife daughter the daughter way in wife marry uh, before he enter that uh, he enter the daughter way in wife give birth to before enter that relationship when i'm the man marry and uh they say the girl find too much uh nine the man can carry daughter of the woman when they marry to finish them meanwhile this is where i'll be winding down the curtain and if this is your first time of joining us on this wonderful channel kindly go ahead subscribe like and comment thank you for listening god bless you